Luigi's Mansion 3 started development as a Wii U game, so loads of content got changed or removed on its way to becoming the Switch game we know today. Over a year before the game's release, Luigi's Mansion 3 was revealed during a Nintendo Direct. Even though we only see less than 30 seconds of gameplay, this first trailer has a large amount of differences between the final game. Here we can see an early version of Luigi's screen from the cutscene that actually made it into the final game. This means we can get a close-up look at Luigi's early design. Strangely, for the first frame, Luigi looks even less polished, as he casts no shadows on himself. First, let's look at the upgrades seen in Luigi's model and textures. He's now got textured hair in his moustache, whereas the early version just had a brown colour. His gloves now have actual seams in the textures, and a normal map used to show texture when the light touches the bumps in his gloves, instead of having a smooth glove with no texture at all. Even Luigi's clothes have normal maps, such as his shirt, which uses them to create a fabric-like texture. In the older version, the buttons on his overalls are yellow and unrealistically smooth. For the final version, these were changed to gold with a matte finish. The Poltergust barely changed, as it has visible stitching in both versions. It did receive a more metallic texture on the tube, However, stitching was added to Luigi's overalls, and a denim texture was applied. The original just used a blue colour. Like the shirt, his cap has a fabric-like texture. The white part of the L emblem is also now stitched on, and the actual L now has a texture to make it look like satin stitching, a technique you'd see on a real hat. Surprisingly, he doesn't actually have individual teeth, like he does in all of the marketing artwork. The lighting here also changed dramatically, with Luigi's cap now casting a shadow on his face, and his nose does this too. Luigi's facial expression is now much less exaggerated, and you can no longer see the uvula at the back of his mouth. His tongue is also a slightly lighter shade of pink. In the background, there were a few envelopes that were removed from the final game. The early version uses a simple camera move towards Luigi's face, but the final version uses a dolly zoom, where the field of view changes at the same rate as the movement of the camera. From this alternate angle, which was also in the trailer, we can see that the back of Luigi's hair also now has much better textures than the early version. The blue ghosts now have visible teeth and a tongue. The tongue was there in the older version, but the glow from the mouth and eyes was too bright to see it. The first room we see in the trailer is Mario's room from the game's opening. A large amount of fog was added to make the room a little more creepy. The carpet underneath the fog stayed mostly the same. At the back of the room, the curtains were given a more detailed texture for the final version but Mario's bed had some of its detail removed, with a flatter texture on the stripes and one stripe thinner than the other. A green fog was added to these cups. The final game features fewer pizza boxes, though they do have the same texture. The open pizza box was replaced with pizza slices on the floor. Mario's suitcase was also closed in the earlier version. The next scene shows Luigi walking through a corridor. Three ghosts pop out, all with the same animations as the final game, but they did not have their maid outfits, instead just looking like generic blue ghosts. The biggest difference in this scene is the Wanted poster, which went through major changes. The image of Luigi was changed from a 3D render of Luigi without his poltergust to a properly framed illustration of Luigi. Beneath the image, more lines were added surrounding the bag of money, and some unreadable text was removed. The trailer doesn't show the life meter or minimap, possibly as these were not finished at this point in development, or they didn't want to spoil the layout of the hotel. This gold pattern on the doors got cut from the final version. The restaurant scene went through a few changes as well, like the maid ghosts from the previous scene, these ghosts didn't have their costumes either. Also, the numbers above a ghost's head were originally going to be a simple white colour, but in the final version, they have a gradient and reflect the colour of the ghost. In this room, the tablecloths were changed to a more basic colour, rather than having a pattern on them. A lamp was also placed on top of this table. The next part is from the cutscene we looked at earlier that made it into the final game. In the final version, Luigi has a separate model used in cutscenes with more realistic materials and textures, so that he looks nicer when viewed up close. The goo inside the poltergust was removed from this scene in the final game, as Gooigi hasn't been unlocked this early in the game. Luigi's not the only thing that changed in this cutscene. The images of Toad, Luigi, Mario and Peach were made larger for the final game. Toad had his image flipped, and more of his neck is visible in the final version. The image of Toad is actually this render from New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and the image of Peach is actually this render from New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS. The floor was made a lot less glossy. A glowing key was placed in front of this clock. This pattern was made less wide. This part was changed from a marble texture to a more wooden one. The circular lens flare was made larger, and some detail was added up here. This scene, for the first time in this trailer, shows a ghost in a costume. The dust when Luigi uses his burst ability is of a much higher quality. 
A slight change in this scene is the addition of a boo decoration in the top left. This part of the tutorial changed quite a bit too. The life meter is missing in the early footage, and so was the ZR button prompt. A crumpled piece of paper was added underneath the car. This cobweb was removed for some reason. This yellow texture was squashed vertically. These bars were made cylindrical and have more detail in their model. Polterpup was given an actual shadow in the final version, rather than just a darker area beneath it. The first trailer ends with a logo for the game, but not the final logo. Also, we can see that the game was originally planned to have a subtitle, as this was only a working title at the time. For some reason, the subtitle was scrapped in favour of the number 3. Even though the name didn't change, the logo did. It's now 3D, and is made of a substance that looks like goo, to emphasise the game's selling point that is Gooigi. The number 3 is now orange, with the gradient going from white to red, instead of green to white and then back to green. The next time the game was shown off was at E3 2019, with a new trailer and a showcase at Nintendo Treehouse Live. This trailer shows off more of the opening of the game, so let's see what didn't make it into the final game. In the hotel lobby, there's a swan statue that drips in the E3 trailer. These drips were cut from the final game, possibly for performance reasons. A glitch in the animation in this scene was left in, where Luigi's rotation quickly changes between these two frames. At the back of the elevator is a mirror. In the E3 trailer, we see the characters walking into the elevator, but the mirror at the back shows the doors as being closed. This was fixed in the final game. Also, we can see that an entire floor was cut from the game. In the E3 trailer, there are 18 lines, suggesting that there will be 18 floors. Mysteriously, however, the final version only has 17 lines. Unfortunately, this was probably a mistake, and not a cut floor, as the poster on the left of the elevator only has 17 markings for floors, and the reflection in this view of the elevator only shows 17 slots for buttons. Speaking of mistakes, on this wall there is a light that flickers on and off. When off in the E3 trailer, the light on the wall isn't visible, but the actual lamp still appears to be on. This was fixed in the final game. In the cutscene in Luigi's bed, Polterpup has a shadow, like how he does in the tutorial. Luigi's book lands in his lap slightly differently as he falls asleep in the final game. Also, some white sparkles were added to the wall in the final version. When Luigi wakes up in the E3 trailer, his pillow has a slight animation, but in the final game it was moved to a slightly lower position, as if he had just been laying on it. This difference is even visible outside the cutscene. In Luigi's room after it has been made spooky, he lacks a shadow when next to his bed in the early version, but does have one in the final game. If you liked this video, you might like our video about the cut content of the first two Luigi's Mansion games, or our video about Mario Kart DS, where we look at how Professor E. Gad was cut from the game. Thanks for watching, share the video with someone who might be interested, and subscribe!